Bieber is back with a new album, new marketing, and a new mustache. We'll get into that and more on Recap. Hey, it's Maya. Nice to see you. Lots of juicy news this week, so let's do this. Kendall Jenner got on TikTok last week. And of course, within hours, she was granted a verification badge and gained half a million followers. But there was one problem. It wasn't her. It was actually a fake profile that reused Kendall's old Instagram stories. TikTok took down the account in less than 24 hours after an internal review found it was not legit. You know, this little blue verification checkmark can be everything to people. It's how platforms let us know that the content we're seeing is authentic. So this story brings up a couple questions. How did a fake account even get a seal of approval? Who is deciding which accounts are worthy of verification? And hey, when can I get my check mark? We've all seen brands work with mega celebrities and influencers, right? Like companies pay to have their products promoted to the massive social media followings these influencers have. Just take a look at this Instagram rich list. It was put out by the social media planning tool Hopper. Celebrities like Gordon Ramsay could net 18,000 US per post. PewDiePie could make 70,000. And for just one branded post, Ariana Grande could make almost a million dollars. But the Canadian Competition Bureau is now cracking down on influencer marketing. After a thorough review, they've sent out around 100 letters telling beauty, fashion, tech, and travel brands to play by the rules. To keep things legal and transparent, brands are supposed to include hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored at the beginning of paid posts. And influencer reviews should be based on actual experience using the product or service. If influencers don't follow these basic rules, they could face an investigation and big fines. If I got a million dollars per post, I don't think I'd ever stop posting. This week, the World Health Organization gave an official name to the illness coronavirus is spreading. It's now called COVID-19. The CO stands for corona, V stands for virus, D stands for disease, and 19 stands for 2019. So why do this now? Well, some have been referring to the illness as the Wuhan virus because it started in Wuhan, China. Here's the thing, all major outbreaks will have scientific names, not names associated with places, animals, or groups of people because that can really harm a lot of reputations. Now, COVID-19 is still a global health emergency with more than 40,000 confirmed cases around the world and more than 1,000 deaths, almost all in China. Right now, there aren't too many good updates to share. So let's stick to our flu prevention tips and hope the rate of infection slows down and COVID-19 treatment keeps improving. And be sure to check out our story of a Canadian teen who was evacuated from Wuhan. Hey everyone, Sean is back in the sidekick seat. What up, what up? So, how did your report card go over with your parents? I sent it to the family group chat and no one responded, which means they're really proud. Nice. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Basically, Justin Bieber is back and is everywhere right now. He be reaching, but I'm not loving how he's mainly just promoting because it doesn't feel genuine. What do you mean? Well, he just released his first album in four years. Changes. But remember when Yummy came out and he told fans to play it on loop at night to reach Spotify number one? Yeah, that was not a smart move. And then he joined TikTok and tried desperately to go viral? <laughs> yup. I mean, he doesn't even need TikTok. He has more than 100 million followers on Instagram and Twitter each. He's also the first artist to hit 50 million subscribers on YouTube. Man, talk about success. But it feels like artists have to do it all to succeed in music these days. I get it. But I kind of miss the good old days when things were a bit more organic. The same thing goes with his YouTube docuseries. It's all the rage these days for artists to have documentaries. Taylor Swift has one. Billie Eilish is getting one. Demi Lovato has one. Lady Gaga, the Jonas Brothers. The list goes on and on. When so many are doing it, it starts to feel not special. Have you watched his doc? A few episodes when they're free, because I ain't paying for YouTube Premium. Mm -hmm. He admits to drug abuse. He opens up about his mental health. 
he reveals he has an autoimmune disorder. He uses an oxygen chamber. And he's been transformed with the love in his life. All of these things are truly important, but it's a lot all at once. All of it keeps him in the headlines. Exactly. To me, some of it feels orchestrated. It's all about snatching the coins. But people are enjoying his new music. Intentions is getting a lot of buzz. Yeah, honestly, it's so catchy. Mm -hmm. His fans are loving the video because it gives this advantaged woman a voice. It also gives a shout out to Alexandria House, a shelter for women in LA. Plus, it ends with an announcement that Bieber set up an intentions fund and donated $200,000 to the shelter. I love the message, but I wonder if it's really his true intention or is it a PR strategy? Intention, I get it. So are you gonna support him with your dollars or not? Listen, I like his music past and present, but consumerism is real and there's a lot of marketing behind his every move. If I'm being honest, I'll still listen and vibe to his music, but I will never stand JB or his stash. I miss that genuine 13 year old kid who posted guitar covers on YouTube. And you got that? Yummy, hey. yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> It's that time again. Put 60 seconds on the clock and let's see if I can do this. This year's Oscars were historic in more ways than one. The Academy Awards show reached an all-time low in TV viewers. 23.6 million people tuned in to watch the broadcast, which is a 20% drop from last year. But the Oscars are still the most watched awards show of the season, with millions more watching them than the Grammys. Maybe we just wait for the Billy memes. Next, Simone Johnson, the daughter of 10-time world champion Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is training to be a WWE superstar. She's 18 years old, same, and hopes to become the first fourth generation superstar in WWE history. That means her father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all wrestled before her. I guess it's genetic. I hope she calls herself the Pebble. Next! Warner Brothers have officially changed the title Birds of Prey to Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. The movie released last week, but it didn't hit as hard as they were expecting at the box office. It made just the 33 million US on opening weekend. That's the worst showing for a DC film. Oh, so close. As I was saying, that's the worst showing for a DC film in 10 years. Is rebranding the answer? Theaters hope the title change will make a difference in ticket sales. After all, the movie does put focus on Harley Quinn, but the original title did not. We're gonna have to work together. And that's another recap wrapped. Be sure to come back next week for more buzzed about news I think you can use.